The Society of Family Health, the SFH, wants private sector investment in HIV testing to ensure that individuals have access to convenient and confidential testing. Find out more about this as we discuss with Dr. Tuyi Mobawondu on the breakfast this morning. We'll also be taking a look at some of the front pages on some national dailies this morning and an analyst to join us and up the press to analyze these headlines. Good morning, I am Maureen Menongwe Zigwe and it is the Friday Flex edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. You're welcome. Hope you slept well. It's a beautiful day. It's been a great week with so many things in the news, on the headlines. You're still standing strong. Well done. All right, our first top trend in this morning. So the Chinese export to Nigeria is to top 1.4 trillion Naira in April. The central bank has previously claimed that textile smuggling cost Nigeria about 1.65 trillion Naira per year, resulting in the failure of over 130 businesses. Fake human hairs, woven fabric, women's suit and other goods made a list of 1.4 trillion naira imported items to Nigeria from China in April of 2023. Well, this was made due to the failures of several interventions by the Nigerian government to revive the ailing local textile in the African continent, most populous country, Nigeria. None of the textile companies have begun production since the involvement of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Meanwhile, $150 million in commodities were shipped from Nigeria to China, resulting in a negative trade imbalance of $1.95 billion out of the $2.1 billion in commerce between the two nations in April. The top Chinese imports to Nigeria include synthetic filament yarn woven cloth worth $160 million, insecticides, $84.1 million, non-neat woven women's outfits worth $81.5 million, cell phones at $67.2 million, and false hair worth $59 million. That's for false hair. Well, not, that, that, that's, that's, that's what it is. Our very first top trending, you know, letting us know the how much we are relating with China. Isn't it alarming there that false hair uh, spent 59, $59 million on fake hair, false hair, human hair, call it whatever you want to call it. You know, that's how much you invest in these synthetic products. Well, our second top trend in NAVDAQ alerts Nigerians about contaminated soft drinks Subdrink, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, has issued a public alert to warn Nigerians about a contaminated batch of Sprite 50 CL glass bottle circulating in Nigeria. Sprite 50 CL glass bottles circulating in Nigeria. Well, upon investigation after a consumer complaint received by the Post Marketing Surveillance Unit of the agency, over five crates of the implicated batch of Sprite 50 CL glass bottles were discovered to be contaminated with particles at the point of purchase and supplier's address. The agency has directed all zonal directors and state coordinators to carry out surveillance and mop up the implicated batch of the unwholesome product. Also, a comprehensive current good manufacturing practice inspection of the manufacturing site is to be carried out by the agency. This is to find the root cause of the contamination and ensure compliance to marketing authorization. NAVDAQ has said, furthermore, the Nigerian Bottling Company Limited Abuja plant has been directed to recall the implicated batch 
of the product and report to NAVDAC for effective monitoring. So you have it, 50 CL Sprite bottled Sprite, not the plastic one, the bottled Sprite has some contaminations in them and um, you need to be on the lookout. If I were you, I wouldn't even touch anything called Sprite for now until NAVDAC is done analyzing the situation and getting to the bottom of it. Uh, the company manufacturing Sprite has been asked to do a recall of the batches of those contaminated bottles. Let's hope that they do that swiftly. And I hope that this message goes out very far and wide so that Nigerians will be on the lookout and avoid the dangers inherent in taking those drinks. Well, that's the much we have on our top trending. We'll be back to give you off the press, where we'll be taking a look at the front pages of some national dailies this morning. Judith Johnson, Chief Lecturer at Nigerian Institute of Journalism, Lagos State, will be joining us on Off the Press. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. <music>